141 Fahrenheit, 60.8 Celsius, and that's blasting out of there. Four forty six Fahrenheit, two thirty Celsius. That's the battery temp, not the air temp. One thing I want to point out before we get started. Don't worry about the fact that the bucket is made of plastic. Even though we're going to crank that sand battery up to as high as 500 Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius, because it's up on three inches of sand and it's so far away from the edges of the bucket, the hottest the sides of the bucket will get or the air coming out is about 140 Fahrenheit, which is uh, 60 Celsius, I think. So it's well within the range of these buckets. They're good up to 230 Fahrenheit or 110 Celsius. So we're, we're well within the range. To make a sand battery, all you need is three things. The metal container, the copper or aluminum strips, and the sand. All right, now you gotta do is grab the five gallon bucket, fill it with about three inches of sand, and line the upper part of the bucket with a heavy duty aluminum foil. Then finally, I'll just drill the vent holes. Of course, you could drill the vent holes first if you wanted to. The hole sizes, by the way, are two and a quarter inch and one and three quarter inch. All right, we're set. Now let's just heat up the sand battery and then we'll drop it in. That's nice. That's the bucket temp right there. It's only 92.5 on the outside. All right, now we got a 134. Fahrenheit, 56.6 Celsius. The max right there, that's because it hit the, uh, when I get the unit itself, the sand battery in there, then it's gonna show that. But the 134 you see, 56.6 Celsius, that's basically the side of this plastic. So we know the air coming out's that hot. 134 Fahrenheit, 56.6 Celsius. Awesome temps. Forty nine two Celsius. So that's yeah, that's warm, but it's just one twenty.
Just a couple of final thoughts. You can use an AC fan if you want to with this project. I generally stick with DC fans because you can hook them to 12 volt solar panels and 12 volt batteries and also they're just safer you know around a lot of the projects I do with water. As far as the sand battery don't skip the copper super important. Without the copper in the sand battery it'll only heat the air coming out of the unit for a couple minutes. You really need that copper to extract all the heat that's buried like deep within the battery. All right, just to wrap it up, thought it'd be funny to show a shot side by side with my older DIY five gallon bucket air cooler. That one's lined with styrofoam and has a three PVC couplers as the vent pipes. Obviously you throw in the ice packs, ice cubes, ice blocks, or even a frozen gallon jug, drop the fan on, you get the cool air. Looks similar, but definite differences.